Hey guys, this is Mr. A Chrissy here, and welcome back to another movie review. So in today's movie review, this is gonna be a new this is gonna be a movie review on the new Christmas comedy film from 2021 this year. And and of course it came out on Disney Plus today for Disney Plus Day. Yep, first of all, yeah, by the way, happy Disney Plus Day. So I watched it. I watched this film like like when when I woke up when I when when I first woke up I I watched I watched this movie along along with the well, along with the shorts Olaf presents, um, Simpsons and Plus Anniversary and Shao Alberto, which is the the Luca short film. But but this is going to be the movie review on Home Sweet Home Alone. Yeah. So Home Sweet Home Alone Home Sweet Home Alone is basically like a, another installment of the Home Alone franchise where. Instead, you got this boy named Max who 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 is basically like he live he lives with his family and 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 for Christmas vacation his family decides to go to go on vacation to Tokyo Japan, but then but then of course the fam but then of course his family ends up ends up leaving him behind and leaving him home alone, and and of course you also got these like you also got this couple like the, the this couple who who bas who ba who are basically turning turning into criminals like like robbers, and so. And so, just like in the original Home Alone, Max has to defend his house from 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 the two robbers, and you know Jeff and Pam, like played by Rob, Rob Delaney and Ellie Kemper. So, yeah. So the the plot itself, like the story, the story of, of Home Sweet Home Alone is pre is pretty much pretty much sim is pretty much definitely similar to the first Home Alone. So, yeah. So what do I think of it? Well, honestly, when the trailer for, when the trailer first came out, like when I. At first, I was thinking it, it it wouldn't look too bad. Since at first, I thought Macaulay Culkin would would reprise his role as an adult Kevin, but Macaulay Culkin actually he 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 himself actually confirmed that he has he has no involvement with Home Sweet Home Alone. Like the the only original cast member from the original Home Alone that that definitely returned is is Devin Ridgeway. Devin Ridgeway is is the actor who who played Bu who played Buzz McCall McAllister in the in the first two Home Alones. Like. Like, like, Buzz actually returns in this film as an adult, where he is now working as a police officer. Yeah. And the acting performances itself, like, the, I mean, I mean, it's got, I mean, it's got pretty good actors, like, uh, pretty good actors, like, like, Ellie Kemper, and there's also Keenan Thompson. But, but the point is, guys, why make another Home Alone film? Because, because the, the, there's already so many Home Alone films out there. And and it and it's and it's not the same without Mac without Macaulay Culkin as Kevin from from the first two Home Alones, and plus the first Home Alone movie is also one of my all time favorite movies as well, one of my favorite Christmas films too. And and I, and I still think Home Alone Two: Lost in New York is is definitely the best Home Alone sequel out of all of them. The first like like the first two Home Alone movies are definitely the best ones, because. And, and that's the point because because and that's that's one of one of the other points about the Home Alone sequels uh, and about why the rest of the sequels starting with Home Alone three they're like not, they're like not not as good as the as the, as the first two and they're like and of course that and of course they're they're all just they're all they're 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 almost all of them are almost all of them are pretty much cash grabs like like and I'm pretty sure Dis Disney is also just doing this for money too like you know like like you know Home Sweet Home Alone was first was first announced in like 2019 I think. And I do remember that th I learned that that filming for Home Sweet Home Alone principal photography actually began in the early months of 2020 last year in February in Canada. But then it wasn't. But but then but then by by March 2020 production and principal photography had to be shut down temporarily due to concerns regarding the coronavirus pandemic. Which it's old news. It's 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 old news pretty much. And you know. So. So yeah, cause the cause the story itself for Home Sweet Home Alone, like the story itself is pretty much is pretty much just like the first Home Alone, and I and I and I gotta say, guys, I prefer I prefer the first Home Alone movie over this. Same with Home Alone Two: Lost in New York. And but I guess for for the booby trap parts, I I guess it does get pretty funny. For I I, I guess when when it comes to the booby traps, it, it 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 does get pretty funny for the most part, but. I, I pretty much still, I, but I I find the first I find the first two movies to have the funniest booby traps like like how Harry and Marvin the first two Home Alones they 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 they, they fall for this booby traps and I I think the first two Home Alone films had the best booby traps and you know yeah because 
Yeah, so, so that's so that's pretty much my so that's pretty much my thoughts on Home Sweet Home Alone. So overall, Home Home Sweet Home Alone, like my, Home Sweet Home Alone, was a was just was just a, a an unnecessary, weak, bad Christmas film from twenty from twenty twenty one this year on Disney Plus. And I'm gonna give Home Sweet Home Alone two out of five stars. So there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my movie review on Home Sweet Home Alone. And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.